How to install those cool add-ons into Minecraft if it's not as simple as a double click. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Now recently, Minecraft has come out with a new Pocket Edition 0.16.0 and amazing add-ons are added to the game. But sometimes it's not as simple to install them. So let me show you what's going on. Okay, so here we are and we're gonna be installing some add-ons. If you go to Minecraft.net and click on add-ons, it gives you a little tutorial on how to do it way down here. It says installation instructions, Windows 10. But unfortunately, if you actually read these, and I've read them for you, so you don't have to, it basically says double click on a .mc world and it'll work, or double click on a .mc pack and it will work. Well, in my experience, that is not always the case. And so if you're trying to install something and it is not that simple, here's what you have to do. I'm going to be showing this to you on this Pikachu Pig add-on. And when you are in one of these, you should scroll down to the very bottom and see where it wants you to install this. It could either be a resource pack, which this one is, or it could be a behavior pack. You're going to download it. It's going to come in as a zip and you're going to want to unzip it. And I have already done that. Oops, one of these is it. Here are Pikachu add-ons. So this is the, uh, this is still in 7-zip. So when I drag it out, it will unzip it. Now, in order to find the area that the resource pack is located, it's actually pretty difficult. Before you start anything, navigate to your C drive, which is just local C drive, and click on users. And you're going to want to see which one is your user for this account. Now, you may see a few different ones. Uh, so you, ha you have to use your own brain to figure out which one's yours. I know that mine is Chad, this capital C H A D. So then go up here into this bar and you can see it's sort of like a URL bar and you're going to paste what is in the description of this video, which will look like this. Uh, in, in mine, it will actually say username all in caps, change yours to be what this user or what your user that you're using, it may not be at the very top, uh, but, but what your user would be. And that way you don't have to type out, you don't have to find this weird file that has all these weird letters, go through all this stuff. You just paste it in there and hit enter. Once you do that, oops, I, I went to the resource back one. Uh, once you do that, you will be brought to a folder that looks like this. It'll have behavior packs, Minecraft PE, Minecraft worlds, and resource underscore packs. Your go I've already added a few. So you can see in here that there's uh, this more chairs uh, behavior pack. There's a fateful and a, another texture pack. Well, what we were looking at is this Pikachu add-on, which is a texture pack. So you want to grab this drag it into this folder, which was your resource packs. If you have one that asks for it to be installed in a behavior pack, use this folder. These are really the only two folders that you have to care about in here. And reminder, if it wasn't obvious before, we're doing this on Windows 10 edition, so this does not work on a Mac. <laughs> it's completely different on a Mac or iPhone or anything like that. So then after you have copied that over and you've found those folders, you're going to go ahead and open up Windows 10 Beta Edition. And in settings, you're going to click Global Resources and you should be able to see all of these that have been added. So you can see the Fateful, the More Chairs, and the Pikachu add-on that I've been doing. Remember, this is hierarchical, which means that the thing that is on top will take over the things that are below it. So what it's almost as if layers and you're looking down. Well, this layer would block anything that is below it. So if the fateful mod pack changed what pigs looked like, well, it's not going to matter because this one, which changes what pigs looks like, is on top and it's going to take priority because it is on top. So we're going to go ahead and close out of this. When you hit play, you can also do this again. So I have this OMG craft world. See this edit button. Click that. You have resource packs, which is right here, and you have behavior packs, which is over here. So we're gonna add both. So we're gonna add the more chairs. We're also gonna add all of our resource packs as well. 
on top of our global setting. Go ahead and close that out. It's saving this. And we're gonna go ahead and click in. Dun 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 dun. dun. And if all went according to plan, we should have our pig Pikachus. The pig spawn egg has been changed into a Pikachu. Where's there? There we go. <laughs> into a, into a, not a Pikachu, into a, this is obviously a Pokeball. Still makes the pig sound. You can also see that my resources have changed. All the name tags, the saddle looks like a crazy, crazy thing like that. And we also have a few chairs. Hmm, looks like these chairs aren't, I didn't came come out too well, uh, but we should have a few. Yeah, chairs didn't really survive. They didn't really survive the uh, the uh, installation process. But this is the uh, more chairs behavior pack. Not exactly sure what's going on with that one. You should be able to sit on them. Can I sit on you? Yeah, I can sit on it at least, <laughs> but it's invisible, so. That's not exactly what we wanted. But that is how you install resource packs and texture packs on Minecraft Windows 10 Edition without having to double click on things that are not double clickable. This is a pain to do the first time. I would suggest making a shortcut. All you have to do is right click uh, a folder that you wanna make a shortcut. It basically makes a link which you can double click and jump to that folder quickly. Right click on that folder that you wanna make a shortcut, click create shortcut and then you'll have one which you could drag to your desktop so you can easily get back to those folders. Hopefully in the future, they'll make it a lot more simpler so that maybe you could just click a button in the Windows 10 edition and be brought to the folder where you can put your add-ons and resource packs. That'd be fantastic. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a like, uh, leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe, youtube.com slash omgcraft. And remember, uh, the, in the description below is that long string of text to paste into your explorer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.